Where am I at? Pilgrim, do you know where you're at? I thought I was in Thailand. Pilgrim, you're in Wyoming. Many folks know Wyoming as the cowboy state, and the guy wearing a George's Pizza t-shirt is one of my army buddies. He's the one standing in the back row. Von Neubauer is his name, and he's a well-known defense attorney in Wyoming and has given numerous interviews throughout the years. I'll get back to Vaughn in a little bit, but first, here's a short clip describing his time in the Army. And what would you do in the Army? I was in the infantry, I was a paratrooper, I was in the 82nd Airborne Division, I was uh, in the Panama Invasion in 1989, I was a sergeant, but you know, I went in a private, I got out a sergeant. Which is pretty good, I guess. It's okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get out of general or nothing. But, uh. The actual nickname of Wyoming is the Equality State, and for good reasons. In 1869, the territory of Wyoming passed the first law in the U.S. guaranteeing women the right to vote and hold office. In 1924, Wyoming was the first state to elect a female governor. In 1932, Thailand was the first Asian country to allow women to vote. Thailand, much like Wyoming, has some strong and independent women. Many years ago, I was sitting on a five-gallon bucket on our land, taking a break from clearing the jungle away while construction was going on. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw an older lady pedaling her bicycle down the dirt road when she saw me. There was a look of shock on her face as we made eye contact, and in a matter of seconds, she crashed her bike into the ditch and fell over. Now in her 90s, this lady has never been out of the province, and her husband died from too much Thai whiskey decades ago. I was actually the first foreigner she had seen in person, and we have been friends ever since. She is a tough lady, much like the folks from Wyoming. This is Nellie Ross from Wyoming. She was the first woman to be nominated to run for Vice President of the United States. In 2011, Thailand elected the first female Prime Minister, and I happened to see her in a night market in Northern Thailand. I managed to get a photo with her, but the bodyguard in the background was not amused. Now here's a look at some other strong Thai ladies. There's not a lot of people that live in Wyoming, and even less folks here in Thailand wearing one of the state's t-shirts, but there are a few. Almost a year ago, this young man showed up for pizza, and the first thing I noticed was his Wyoming t-shirt, and I asked if I could shoot a photo. We got to talking, and it turns out he is half American and half Thai, and he also speaks Chinese. I asked him if he had ever been to the States, and he replied that was his goal, but he couldn't get an American passport. After listening to his story, I opened my big mouth and said that I would help. Now, the rest of the story. About 19 years ago, a young Thai lady got pregnant by an American tourist. The relationship did not last, and when the child was born, he was given up for adoption to a well-to-do family in northern Thailand that mills rice. As a matter of fact, if you've ever eaten Thai rice, then there is a good chance this family's milled it. Anyway, this teenager had always been told the truth about being adopted and eventually met his biological mother. Finding the father was a different matter as information was scarce. On the back of an old postcard was the father's name. Unfortunately, it was only his first name. 
But luckily, the mother knew the last name and how to spell it correctly, and so the search began. We both filled out piles and piles of government paperwork and kept FedEx busy. Months passed and I kept hitting one obstacle after another. Eventually, I asked my army buddy for some suggestions and Vaughn offered some legal guidance. His advice did the trick and my young pizza customer eventually received his American passport. Thank you, Sergeant. The train right for inspection, sir. Here at D&G, we have several sites that people like to visit while they wait for their orders to be cooked. Here's one customer as he enters the Waterfall Museum, which is basically a collection of old Thai stuff that D has collected throughout the years. Q number 79, your food is ready. Wait a minute. D just called our number, which means our order is ready. Good. I'm hungry. Trust me, I'm strong. Now eat chicken fried steak. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Big Sky Country.